Hello viewers, you're welcome to the Medin edition of Shout Hallelujah. You're welcome to the Medin edition of Shout Hallelujah. Shout Hallelujah is an inspirational program that is created to bring the unity to the body of Christ. And I believe that Hallelujah is the only language that unites the whole body of Christ. And uh, we'll be looking forward towards business. We shall be looking forward towards leadership. We'll be looking forward towards different areas that have to do with the body of Christ as, as regards to unity. And today I have a wonderful guest. He's a man of God, a great man of God. But before I bring him to the set, I would like to take a musical uh, interlude before then. Please, let's go on a musical uh, break. Wow, everywhere, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's just the language. That's the word. That's the language. Today, as I said earlier on, before we take that musical break, that uh, I have a guest, and the guest is Dr. Sunday Enigera, called popularly known as the Major Prophet. He's the Major Prophet. He's a senior pastor of Uncommon Grace Christ Ministry Worldwide. Prophet, you are welcome to shout hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God Pray. bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. As you heard, my name is Dr. Sunday Enigera. Major Prophet, the Senior Pastor of a Common Grace, Christ Ministry Worldwide. God bless you. I'm led by the Holy Spirit to pray for you today, to pray for everybody in this hard season, to pray for you on a tie to total recovery. Wherever you are watching me, viewers all over the world, as you watch me and you connect with the Holy Spirit, you are blessed today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go with me before I pray with you. I'm going to share the word of God with you within some minutes. And as you put your hair down, you, uh, you will not regret this. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, where two or three are gathered, Jesus is there. Mm. Jesus is here. Mm. As you connect in the spirit, and you're watching this program, wherever you are all over the world, you will surely be blessed in the name of Jesus. Mm. And this living God will serve will recover you all in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what you have lost in this corona lockdown season. It doesn't matter the challenges you passed through, you went through. But what matters is what God is about to do for you right now. As you believe, you connect to this program. You will be recovered in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to share the word of God with you. After that, I will start praying for people. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Share the word. We are ready to hear. Oh, God you. bless you, sir. God bless you. you know Hallelujah. God, giving you that grace and power. Yeah. Share Amen. the word. God bless Amen. You. Hallelujah. Amen. Total recovery. Hmm. I was led by the Holy Spirit. Hmm. That in this season, Why total recovery? Yeah, that is what I'm telling you now. Hmm. The Bible says Holy Spirit is our teacher. When you be able to listen to the Holy Spirit, wow, wow, wow! I was talking to somebody. That was I was talking to somebody sharing the Word of God. God spoke to me that if you will, if you want the, the whole world to hear you, mm. know the Word, mm. because the Word is created by the Word of God. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Praise God. Okay, the viewers are ready to hear the Word and get the Word. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Total recovery. The reason why I'm here to pray for you because Holy Spirit spoke to me that many of you worshiping, you have lost a lot in the spirit. And you need to be recovered by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In the book of Psalm, first Psalm 30, from verse 1 to 8. But I'm going to take the reading from just verse um, 3. Verse 3 to 4. Then we jump down to verse 6. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I read verse 3. Don't forget some first Samuel chapter 30 from verse 3. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire. Mm. And their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Mm. Verse 4. Then David and his people and the people, they were with him, lift up, lifted up their voice and wept until they had no power. Mm. They had no more power to weep. 
Hmm. Let's come to verse 6. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughter. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Praise God. Hallelujah. David encouraged himself in the Lord is God. Amen. Amen. David encouraged himself in the Lord is God. Mm. I want to tell you something wherever you are worshiping. There is nothing a child of God lost that he will not recover. That's good. Amen. Amen. And also put this in mind in life. Before you get to wherever you are going in life, you will surely face tribulation. That is what Jesus says. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Don't kill yourself because of present situation. Mm. Don't think that it is over because of your present situation. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't think this is the end of your life no matter what you are passing through. That's great. We still have God in heaven that answers prayer. Mm. When there is a man to pray, there is God to answer. To answer. Mm. In the book of Psalm, Psalm 15, verse 15, said, Call upon me in the days of trouble. I will answer I you. I will answer you. You will glorify me. Mm. Amen. Amen. No matter what you are passing through, my brother and sister, wherever you are, don't think it's over. David came. You can imagine what happened to David when he came with his men. He made the city burnt of fire. Burnt of fire. Not that hello, just like a pandemic. Amen. Amen. Not that hello, but the daughters, the sons, they were taken captive. Mm. You can imagine the situation. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said this: these people they cried to a level there was no more power for them to cry. Imagine mm -hmm. that kind of cry. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, wherever you are worshiping, and I prophesy to your life, your cry come to an end today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And David encouraged himself in the Lord. When he got to verse 8, if you read the Bible verse, after David cried, after he encouraged himself in the Lord, listen to me. God can decide to come later and make you the latest. God will never come late. Mm, that's great. La Cataboza. Sometimes you are in a situation, you are passing through some kind of difficulties. You are praying. You think God is not hearing you. He's hearing God knows what he's doing. Mm. Amen. Mm. Encourage yourself. God will show up. He will never come late, but he will come at the right time to prove himself that he is God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Encourage yourself in the Lord, not in a man. Man will fail you. Mm. There are some advice. There are some people you think you can confide in that will fail you. Mm. There are some people you'll be expecting solution from them. Man cannot give you that word. That's why the Bible says, I will lift up my eyes onto the hill from where my help comes. Come my help comes from God, He that created the heaven Hallelujah. and earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God never failed. Mm. David did not encourage himself in the man, but he in encouraged the himself in the Lord. In the Lord. Because you know that sometimes when you try to encourage yourself in the Lord, all you are expecting a man to encourage, to you, encourage they, you, they mock you. Mm. They only laugh at you. Mm. Amen. 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 I don't know who is watching me here. They have been laughing at you for years. I don't know since when they have been laughing at you, but by the reason of this program, by the power of the Holy Ghost, those laughing at you, they shall be put to shame. Amen. Because by the time they hear your testimony, they will be disappointed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 After David encouraged himself in the Lord, the Bible says, David, in verse 8, David now asked God, hmm. God, what should I do? Should I pursue and overtake? And overtake. Total recovery. Hmm. Amen. Amen. So you mean prophets that people will recover what they have lost, even with a lockdown? Sir, within a short time as from today, as many that connect to this program, Wait and see the testimony that's going to happen. Amen. God never lied. Amen. It's not a man that will lie. Amen. After this, Amen. not people alone, Amen. all nations will be recovered. Amen. 
Amen. Nigeria will be recovered Amen. from any problem, any hardship they are facing. Mm -hmm. They will be recovered. Amen. Anyone watching me, everybody, wherever you are, you will be recovered. Amen. Total recovery. Amen. 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 Because God is here. Mm. Look at what happened to David. The Bible says, David now has, should I pursue and overtake? Master. God said, no, don't just to pursue. Mm. Pursue. And you overtake. Overtake them. Mm. And recover. And recover it all. Mm. Mm. That is why having God in your life is very important. Encouraging yourself in God is very important. Because mm. when God says go, it will be by you. Definitely. Definitely. Libra, yeah. Definitely. Are you Definitely. hearing me? Yes. A man can tell you to go. But when he see that, when the man see that the, the battle is tough, it's tough. He will leave you behind. Mm. Mm. But when God said go, mm. it's an order, it's authority. Mm. It will be by you. By you. He will never let you down. It's true. God said, David, go. I'm by you. And when yeah. God is by you, no man, no man can be against you. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to somebody yeah. here? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. And when God stands for you, nobody can stand against you. When he bless you, nobody can cause you. When he lift you up, nobody, nobody can, can bring you down. He said, David, go. Because it was God that spoke that David go, not a man. Not a man. Mm. And David pursued. And the Bible said, David pursued in verse 18 of that chapter. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, David pursued and he recovered it all. Okay. I pray for you, mm. viewers all over the world. Anything you have lost in this season, any good thing they have taken away from you by the reason of this program, by the reason of the anointing, by the power in the name of Jesus, oh yeah, recover it all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hear what the Bible said in the book of John. John 11. Mm. From verse 34 to, 30, to 44. Wow. Lazarus died. That was in a coffin. Amen. Amen. Was put in a coffin. Not mm. just put in a coffin. Mm. Bound. Mm. His two hands and his leg mm. and his face. Mm. And put in the coffin. It was about to be buried. Mm. Die after many days. That's mm. what the Bible says. Mm. The families, sister, brother, they've lost hope. They were crying. But there is a God of total recovery. Hallelujah. Now, this total recovery, before you start praying for the viewers, they are already ready. They want to recover. Yeah. A lot of Nigerians, a lot of the world entirely want to really recover. Are you having a special program to pray for them? After this program? After this program. As, as, as Holy Spirit minister to me, yes. this will become a monthly program every month. Okay. Every last Saturday of the month, I will be here to pray for everybody for total recovery. Okay, viewers, before uh, a prophet, this is a man that is known for uh, his prophecies. All his prophecies comes to pass. He's, he's known for it. Get ready for prayer. Get ready for the program, what God has been able to ask him to do so that you can recover those things you have lost at this pandemic. Before then, we want to take a musical break again. Thank you. Wow, you are still watching Shout Hallelujah on Super Screen Television. And we still have our guest, the, the one and only major prophet in town. This is a man that have the mandate to speak God's word. And he's telling us at this point in time that the world will recover. Man of God, people are waiting for you all over the world to pray for them at this point in time and tell them exactly what they will do to recover. Amen. Amen. You don't need to do much. The only thing you just need to do, number one, giving your life to Christ. Hmm. The Bible says, any man that being in Christ is a new creature for all things are passed pass away. All things has become new. Amen. Amen. Then number two, having faith in God. Faith. Faith in God. Something that happened in the book of Mark. Mark chapter 5 from verse 25 to 34. A man with the issue of blood. Hmm. Right, that's why I'm going to pray now. Okay. Amen. Amen. A man with the issue, a woman with the issue of blood, sorry, for 12 years. Hmm. She visited all the hospitals. Everywhere she sold all that she had, mm. nothing happened. It was getting worse. Mm. But the day she met Jesus, there was something she did. She had faith, decided in her, if I be touch his clothes, clothes, I shall be made, made whole. whole. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. Remember that, that there were thousands of people 
following Jesus mm -hmm. daily. Mm -hmm. Only this woman touched Jesus and was made whole. And the blood dried after 12 years. Wow. And Jesus said, wow. somebody touched me. Mm -hmm. And the disciple went to him. How can you say somebody touched me? Where there are many crowds. people here. Mm -hmm. so can I tell you something, my people, wherever you are watching me? There are people that will be cured of HIV under the same anointing. Under the same anointing, that people that will remain there with headache. Kabul, it's the level of the faith. Mm. Amen. Amen. With that faith, it is impossible to please God. As man thinketh in his heart, so shall he be. Mm. Mm. When you believe in God, that what we are doing here and the prayer we are praying for you here, that you will surely will recover, you will be recovered. The woman was made whole. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for you wherever you are. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It doesn't matter what you lost. Is it your health? Job? In this season, many of you, you've lost your office, you've lost your position, you've lost contract, you've lost, you've lost your job. But by the reason of the anointing today, you will recover. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you lost that you are crying anywhere you are today, please be connected. Be connected now. God is about to do something. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is about to do something. Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever the good thing you have lost, you are crying, you don't even know who to talk to. Right now, my God is listening to you by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are recovered. Amen. I pray for you. I say you should recover. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says he sent his word, he healed them, mm. and he delivered them from their destruction. This task is not a barrier. It doesn't matter where you are watching it from. Mm. Wherever you are, wherever you are, the word will touch you, will reach you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, recover. Mm. As I'm talking to you right now, I am seeing a man on a sick bed. Are you watching me from hospital? You're on a sick bed. The doctor has told you that there is no solution. But I'm assuring you here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Put your ears here. Be connected. On that sick bed in that hospital, by the time I live here, you will recover. Amen. In the name of Jesus, after 30 minutes, you will recover. Amen. Amen. I'm waiting for that testimony. Is it the love in your marriage you have lost by the power in the name of Jesus? That love in your marriage that you have lost, you no longer enjoy your marriage. You cry every day. I recover that love. Amen. Our God restore that love Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Is it your office? Is it your job? Or you recover it all? Amen. Hear what the Bible said. The Bible said everything that Job lost, God recovered Job times two. Mm. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I decree and I declare everything, every good thing you lost in this Corona period, you will recover it hundredfold. Is the authority of the Lord. I said you should you will recover. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you will recover. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hear what the Bible says. Jesus came to the grave of Lazarus. Say, Lazarus, comfort. A dead man came back alive. alive. Don't lose you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. If Lazarus could survive, you will survive. Amen. This season will not kill you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that is wrong with your health, your body system, any pains in your body, or you've lost your, your, your health, you are no longer enjoying your health, there is a problem, pains every day. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree, recover it all. Amen. I prophesy whatever you are watching me, recover your health. Amen. In the name of Jesus, that contract you lost mm. yesterday, or in this season, that contract you lost many months ago, recover it times two. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, recover it times two. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. every good thing you lost, you lost your property, is it your land? Every good thing you lost, you lost your property, I decree and I declare, oh, you recover it all. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as I'm talking to you right now, some pastor lost their ministry, mm. lost their members. Mm. There is a problem everywhere, mm. but it will not reach you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. it's in your ministry. Oh yeah, recover it. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. recover your ministry. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. 
as I'm talking to you, there are some people watching me, they have lost their spiritual life. Mm. Spiritually, they are not connected anymore. Mm. Why some have lost their dream? Mm. Some of you, if you dream, you no longer remember your dream. Mm. Something is wrong in the realm of the spirit. Mm. I decree and I declare, recover your spiritual life. Amen. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, recover your dream. Amen. In the name of Jesus. There are some of you who have lost focus. When a man lost focus in life, you can never achieve anything. All right, prophets. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless you. I, I believe that one of those people I want to see you one on one. What is happening? I, I, I hear over heard that it's a program coming up tomorrow, Sunday. Those that want to meet you and put one part of your service, what happened tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow is going to be very, very wonderful. Tomorrow is a super Sunday. Wow. Amen. Amen. If you are in Nigeria here, you can see the address. The address on the screen. And I'm still going to pray for people here after I leave here. Okay. After like 40 minutes, I'm going to pray for people. You can see the number. I'm going to be available to receive your call. Call that line on the screen. I'm going to pray for you. You want me to give you prophecy? I'm going to give you prophecy. Amen. Amen. So tomorrow is going to be very, very wonderful. I'm going to your question. I will be expecting you to be there. Amen. Amen. On Common Grace Christ Ministry Worldwide. Worldwide. Okay, call your number for those that want to call you on phone. You want to call me on phone? 070-666-0673. Why the second number is 081-4429-2099. I repeat, 070-666-0673. Why the second one is 081-4429-2099. Then those that want to come to the program tomorrow, can you just give us an address? Yes. Let them have the address. Yes. Um, on, com on Common Grace Christ Ministry Worldwide, um, Ekwe Expressway, opposite Ekutu. Opposite Ekutu. That is Aja. Aja. Ekwe Expressway, opposite Ekutu. Road 2 Ogunfayo Royal Estate. Road 2 Ogunfayo Royal Estate. Immediately you get there, if you are driving, you lift up. There is a Danko for the station there. Lift up your face there, you will see. The big board there, on Common Grace Christ Minister Worldwide. You will see my picture there. Enter the estate, very close to the bus stop. It's going to be wonderful tomorrow. I'm oh, going to me. pray for people tomorrow. Pray for people tomorrow, and there will be signs and wonder. There will be miracle as you come with your faith. Wow. It's with that a... word, there will be signs and wonder. We're going to wrap up this program. Catch us again next week. To the glory of God, somebody will shout hallelujah. I can, I can talk to you. I can tell you that this prophet of God have what it takes that when it speaks, it comes to pass. Meet him in church tomorrow by that address. You're welcome once more again. I welcome you again as we run it off for today on Shout Hallelujah on Super Screen Television. I will wrap up this word by telling you, give the word the best you can because the best will always come back to you. My name is Dr. Ray Mike Ashinewe on Shout Hallelujah. Bye-bye. God bless you. As we meet next week.